Coming up right now, we want to start out talking about a photo contest, and it's not just any photo contest. Jay Paul, director, let's meet the lovely Rachel Garavito. She's communications director for the Piedmont Triad Apartment Association. Mm -hmm. Next to her is Don Hermans. He's regional long-term care ombudsman for the Piedmont Triad Regional Council and served as a photo contest judge for this mysterious contest that we're now going to tell you about. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Don, tell us what you do at the council, first of all. Well, as a regional long-term care ombudsman, I'm an advocate for people that are in nursing homes or assisted living or what we call adult care homes. And, uh, and I'm one of seven ombudsmen in our office. And, and much we cover needed, a 12 county area. Much needed, and we need more of you, and you do a great job. I just want to thank, thank you for you. that. Uh, how did you get involved with this? Uh, and I'm going to spill the beans now. It was a livable communities photo contest. Some people call it sustainable communities photo contest. How did you get involved with that? Well, I, you know, I like taking pictures, and somebody in my office had recommended me to the folks over at PART to, uh, that they thought I might be a good judge. So I was glad to have the chance to do that. That was my first judging. Well, that's great. <laughs> and uh, now, Rachel, tell us about the Peace Haven Farm and its mission, because you took a photo out at Peace Haven Farm, right? I did. Um, Peace Haven Farm is um, a, they're a sustainable, community-supported farm that helps um, with promoting affordable housing for adults with disabilities. Right. So we had gone out for a work day, and I had my camera to document just the work that we were doing there. So. That's how I ended up taking the photo. And of course, I think the activity, you know, I, I might be mixing my information here, but I think there was an activity of some folks that got together to plant potatoes or something. We did end up planting potatoes. That's, that's what we were there to do, but it was all in honor of a friend who um, had passed away, and he loved to help out the community. So in order, on his one year anniversary of his death, we um, got together to go out and help our community, and I was just there to document it. Now, as a photographer yourself, Don, uh, what were you looking for in the photos that you judged? Well, I think what we were looking at, certainly the, the theme, the, the category that the picture was in, and then also kind of uh, what the story told. And, and Rachel's actually submitted a couple of pictures that showed the people actually out there working. And then seeing the picture of the shovels leaning up against the truck really kind of and what, that, that, and what that really represented in terms of sustainable communities and trying to work together right. to make us more green and make us more efficient um, because it all tied in. And I will say, because we were joking about this beforehand, but Rachel and Don had never met before. He was a, you know impartial judge. He didn't know who had done which photos. I think they probably just numbered the photos that you and the judges looked at, right? right? right. And judged it based on that. Um, why did you, I mean, what, what message, I've already, I didn't mean to put words in your mouth, Don, but what message do you think her photo sins about sustainable communities, about the way we need to do things? Mm -hmm. what, what, what message? Well, I think, I think it was the idea of the community of people getting together to working. And we didn't know what this project was, but we just saw the photographs. And then, like I say, seeing the, the final photograph with the shovels leaning up against the truck just kind of tied that all in. And I'm going to ask sort of a similar question to you, Rachel, because after all, it was your work, it was your photograph. What, what kind of message do you want to send to viewers about the importance of everyone getting behind this whole initiative of sustainable communities? Well, I just, I think that um, it just shows it's a sense of community that it's important to get together and work um, for greater good and um, just get together with each other and farming in our community. <laughs> yeah, and of course, again, as we mentioned, the, the Peace Haven Farm is a great example because they're, they're taking care of folks that really need them and they're sustaining themselves with a the farm there. and. That's just a, it's just a great example, and, and I really apologize for that. Of course, because of jo, uh, Don and the other judges saying that you won, you won what? What was the prize? 250 bucks. What did you do with that money? Can uh, you tell us on the air? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want I to tell us. I had very specific plans to reinvest in some photography equipment. Oh, that's and good. I think I ended up giving it to the daycare. So. Well, bless your heart. All right, here's the partnc.org website up on screen because this, of course, brought to you by the good folks at Part. Brent McKinney and all those guys do a great job in helping us get the word out about sustainable communities and alternate forms of transportation like the Part bus, which you should take when you can. We'll be right back.